Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I'm having so much fun with this Apron Strings YouTube stuff, and I love sharing, and I'm sure excited when I get a comment that y'all have tried one of the recipes and your family liked it, and that's what it's all about, sharing good cooking and helping people to have something different to cook. I like to get a new recipe to try. And today, I, I had some bananas that I had bought. You know how it is. You always buy a bunch and they get too ripe. So today, I'm going to make uh, a cream cheese banana nut bread. So I will bring the camera over closer to the mixer where y'all can see what I'm doing. I've already toasted my pecans in the oven at 350 for about 8 minutes, and I turned them halfway through. And I've got them chopped up. I've got stuff measured up and ready to put into the KitchenAid and get this bread going. Now I've got my two loaf pans ready and I use a product called Baker's Joy and it's a spray can like a Pam but it has flour in it and to me that's much easier than using uh, Crisco and flour to grease and flour my pans. So I've got the pans ready to put the dough in when I get it made and um, we'll get on making us some bread. Okay, I've got three-fourths of a cup of butter and eight ounces of cream cheese in the bowl, and I'm going to mix that just a bit. I'll cream it to where it'll taste all combined in the end. Okay, I've got the cream cheese and the butter mixed together. The next thing I need to add is I've got two cups of sugar. So that's one and a half cups of butter, eight ounces of cream cheese, and now I'm adding two cups of sugar, and I'll, I'll cream that, and then I'll add two eggs. Okay, I've got my sugar blended in really good. Now I'm going to add my two eggs and whip them up. my eggs blended in really well. I've added a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm sorry, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. A half a teaspoon of soda. A half a teaspoon of baking powder. And about a fourth of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to blend that just a little bit. Now I'm going to add my bananas, and they're very, very ripe. You can see they're, they're very ripe. So I'm not going to mash them ahead of time. It calls for four bananas. I happen to have six ripe bananas, so I'm going to go ahead and just put them all in. It'll probably have a little more banana flavoring. I'm going to do this where it'll have a little more liquid when I put the flour in in a minute to blend it. So I'll go ahead and let it mix the, the bananas up for me. When they're that ripe, they just turn to mush really fast. Okay, I've got my bananas mixed, and I'm going to add about half of my flour. Well, I guess all of my flour. I'll just have to be careful. Mix until it gets mixed. Or it don't fly out all over me. That was three cups of flour. I'm going to blend the flour in, and then I'll bring you back and show you when I'm adding the pecans. Okay, I've got the flour all blended in really good. And now I'm going to add one cup of chopped um, toasted pecans. Okay, I'm going to uh, move the camera, and I'll put the dough into the pans and get it into the oven. Okay, I'm going to get my batter into the pans. This makes two nice loaves. It smells good. Sometimes I make this in um, the little foil pans and that way it's ready to give to somebody without worrying about 
how I'm going to take it to them. Get it all out. There's nobody here to lick the bowl. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake it a little bit. Bang it. Get the air out and make it even up. Then you put it into a 350 degree oven for about an hour and I'll use my cake tester and make sure that it's done. But we'll get this going and uh, I will come back and tell you exactly what was in the recipe and that way y'all can make you some. bread in the oven and I want to read the recipe card to you. So get your pen and paper so you can write it down if you've missed something while I've been mixing and stirring and talking. Um, it's three-fourths of a cup of butter and eight ounces of cream cheese, two cups of sugar, two eggs, three cups of flour, one half teaspoon each soda, baking powder, vanilla, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Four really ripe bananas and one cup of toasted pecans chopped. It'll make two of your loaf pans greased and floured. You uh, cook it at 350 for one hour Cool it in the pan on a baking rack for about 10 minutes and then take it out of the pan and cool it at least 30 minutes before you cut it because if you don't it's going to crumble. So that's the recipe and in just a little bit I'll bring you back 60 minutes and show you what the banana bread looks like when it comes out of the oven. This is a delicious bread. Something about that cream cheese makes such a difference. So I'll be back in a little bit. Thank y'all so much for watching and for hanging in here and waiting for the end results. I do appreciate every one of you. I'm having fun, fun, fun cooking for you. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, y'all, I've got the bread out of the oven. Two loaves. Now you could make a thin glaze with powdered sugar and a little milk to pour over it, but I don't want that sweetness on it. So I'm going to get it uh, plated, and I'll bring you back and show you. Okay, I got my two loaves out of the oven. I showed them to you. I've got um, I've cut a piece. I'm just going to let Troy have some banana bread. <clears throat> I do think it needs a half a teaspoon of salt rather than the fourth. So if I make it again anytime soon, I had cut it back because I was using the pink Himalayan, and I always had used the Martin salt. But uh, I think it needs uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Other than that, it's so moist and it's very good. Those toasted pecans just make stuff taste good. So y'all need to try this and um, let me know what you think about it. The cream cheese adds a, a different flavor too. I have another recipe that I make but it doesn't have the cream cheese in it. And I really like this one with the cream cheese. And it would have been perfect if I had to put the salt that it called for. But I thought I needed to cut it back because of the kind of salt, but no, a half a teaspoon of salt uh, in the recipe. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching me cook and wishing you had a bite of it. I wish you did too. I like company and I like for you to, well, when you come to my house, you eat. So I would love for you to be here to sit down and have some of this warm banana bread. And I don't do coffee, but I guess I could, but I got sweet milk and tea. Anyhow, y'all have a blessed day and make some plans to cook a good supper and gather your family around the table. I know I keep harping on it, but turn those phones off and look people in the eye and talk to them and share the happenings of your day and make some family memories and someday you'll be glad you did. Now y'all be blessed, behave yourself, don't get in any trouble. Be careful if you're traveling, getting ready for the holiday, if you're in the U.S. And I'll be back here tomorrow with something else good to eat.